Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. Let us have the second set of the easy round for grade 4 pupils. In the easy round, participants are not allowed to use scratch paper. Each item must be answered in 15 seconds. Answers must be written on an answer sheet before the time expires. Before we continue, please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos. Let us begin with question number 1. 707 thousandths or 0 0.707 is equal to how many percent? Again, 707 thousandths or 0 0.707 is equal to how many percent? Go! Time is up. The answer is 70.7%. Question number 2. What is the sum of the even numbers between 20 and 27? Again, what is the sum of the even numbers between 20 and 27? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 72. Next, question number 3. 4% is equal to how many thousands? Again, 4% is equal to how many thousands? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 40. Next, question number 4. The ratio of two numbers is 9 to 11. If the sum of the numbers is 80, what is the larger number? Again, the ratio of two numbers is 9 to 11. If the sum of the numbers is 80, what is the larger number? Go. Time is up. The answer is 44. Next, question number 5. If 3 mangoes cost 77 pesos, how much will a dozen mango cost? Again, if 3 mangoes cost 77 pesos, how much will a dozen mangoes cost? Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 308 pesos. Question number 6. Which has a greater area? A square garden that is 35 meters on a side or a rectangular garden that is 40 meters by 30 meters? Again, which has a greater area? A square garden that is 35 meters on a side or a rectangular garden that is 40 meters by 30 meters. Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's the square garden. 
Question number 7. What is 1 twelfth of the product of 8, 6, and 3? Again, what is 1 twelfth of the product of 8, 6, and 3? Go. Time is up. The answer is 12. Question number 8. The sum of three angles of a quadrilateral is 212 degrees. What is the measure of the fourth angle? Again, the sum of three angles of a quadrilateral is 212 degrees. What is the measure of the fourth angle? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 148 degrees. Next, question number 9. If I add 7 to my number, then triple the result and finally subtract 25. If the result is 50, what is my number? Again, if I add 7 to my number, then triple the result and finally subtract 25. If the result is 50, what is my number? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 18. Last question for this round. The gasoline tank of a bus is 5H full. It needed 60 liters to fill it. What is the full capacity of the tank? Again, the gasoline tank of a bus is 5H full. It needed 60 liters to fill it. What is the full capacity of the tank? Go! is up. Let us see the answer. It's 160 liters. This time, let us show the solutions to our 15-second questions. Question number one. 707,000 is equal to how many percent? To change decimal form to its percent equivalent, we multiply the number by 100 percent. Or simply, we move the decimal point two places to the right. So from 0 0.707, it becomes 70.7. Oh, that is 70.7%. Question number two, what is the sum of the even numbers between 20 and 27? By this, we understand that 20 and 27 are not included. And the even numbers between 20 and 27 are 22, 24, and 26. Adding these three numbers, we have 2 plus 4 plus 6, that is 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 7. Therefore, the answer is 72. Question number 3. 4% is equal to how many thousands? So this time, we're going to convert from percent to its decimal equivalent. Percent means per 100. So, 4% is the same as 4 over 100. And 4 over 100 is equal to 0 0.04 or 4 hundreds. We are asked 4% is equal to how many thousands? Therefore, if we add another 0, this will be 40 thousands. Hence, 4% is equivalent to 40,000. Question number 4. The ratio of two numbers is 9 to 11. 
if the sum of the numbers is 80, what is the larger number? Hence, we divide 80 by the sum of the two numbers in the ratio that is 9 plus 11 and multiply by the larger factor that is 11. So, we have 80 divided by 20 that is 4 times 11 that is 44. Question number 5. If 3 mangoes cost 77 pesos, how much will a dozen mangoes cost? We know that 1 dozen is 12, so we have 3 times 4 that is equal to 12. Hence, if 3 mangoes cost 77 pesos, we just multiply 77 by 4 and that is equal to 308. Hence, it's 308 pesos. Question number 6. Which has a greater area? A square garden that is 35 meters on a side or a rectangular garden that is 40 meters by 30 meters? Getting the area of the square garden, we multiply 35 by itself or that is equal to S times S and 35 times 35 is equal to 1,225 square meters. For the area of the rectangle, we multiply the dimensions, that is the length times the width. So we have 40 times 30, and that is equal to 1,200 square meters. Hence, the square garden has a larger area. Question number 7. What is 1 12th of the product of 8, 6, and 3? So we multiply 1 12 by the product 8 times 6 times 3. Using cancellation method, 8 and 12 can be divided by 4. So we have 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Still, we have 3 and 3 in the denominator. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Hence, the product is equal to 2 times 6, that is 12. Question number 8. The sum of three angles of a quadrilateral is 212 degrees. What is the measure of the fourth angle? We know that in a quadrilateral, the sum of all the interior angles is 360 degrees. Since we are given the sum of the three angles, 212 degrees. We just need to subtract to get the measure of the fourth angle. 360 minus 212 is 148. Hence, the fourth angle measures 148 degrees. Question number 9. If I add 7 to my number, then triple the result and finally subtract 25. If the result is 50, what is my number? We use the backward method to solve this type of problem. After subtracting 25, the result is 50. Then, 50 plus 25 is equal to 75. Getting 75 means multiplying a number by 3. So, we, we divide 75 by 3. 75 divided by 3, that is equal to 25. And to get 25, 7 must be added to a number. So we subtract 7. 25 minus 7 equals 18. We can check by following the process. 18 plus 7 is 25. After adding 7, the number is tripled. So 25 times 3, that is 75. And after, after multiplying by 3, 25 is subtracted, so 75 minus 25 is equal to 50, and the answer is correct. The number is 18. Question number 10. The gasoline tank of a bus is 5 eighths full. It needed 60 liters to fill it. What is the full capacity of the tank? From the information, 60 liters is 3 eighths of the gasoline tank. Hence, we can translate the question as saying 60 is 3 eighths 
of what number? So to solve this, we have 60 divided by 3 eighths. Then 60 times 8 over 3. 60 divided by 3 is 20. Then 20 times 8, that is 160. Hence, the full capacity of the tank is 160 liters. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.